hello, friends. I'm here with my friend Trisha today, and I'm really excited. She's going to be my first vlog interview. My name is Amber <laughs> from Mountain Nittany Creations and Handcrafted Artisan. And uh, yeah, and I'd like to introduce my friend Trisha to you. So Trisha, tell us uh, where, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Western Pennsylvania, um, but for my husband's education, he's a wildlife biologist, we moved around a lot for him to get his, well, he got his bachelor's, bachelor's locally, and then we went, um, we moved to Illinois uh, for his master's, and then for jobs, we lived in Indiana, Kentucky, and then we finally got back into Pennsylvania, <laughs> which is good because all of our family live here. Um, so now currently I'm in a little town called Montgomery near Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And that's where my studio is based out of. And what's the name of your shop? Um, Pink Poodle Jewel Jewelry Studio is the name of my business and my uh, Etsy store. <laughs> and how long have you been crafting? Um, I've been crafting since I was really little um, child. My, I always have said my mom and my dad are Martha Stewart and Bob Vila, if you know who they are. Yeah. Um, my, they're both very crafty, very handy, talented. So I got that from them. I don't know if I'm talented, but I got the, the need to want to craft and, you know, do something with my hands from both of my parents. Mm -hmm. um, my mom likes to paint. She's really good at painting, which is not something I do. But, and my dad, he, if it can be done, my dad can do it. And that's not just a little girl looking at her daddy. It's true. That's awesome. that's <laughs> can fix anything. So. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, well, you have a jewelry shop. Are there, uh, other than the jewelry, is there other things that you enjoy creating? I dabble in a lot <laughs> of different things, <laughs> as is evidenced by my studio. Um, I am a paper crafter. I have scrapbooked. I have done cards. Um, I crochet. Mm -hmm. I've needle pointed. Um, I've knit. knit um, trying to think of everything <laughs> There's just about, and I'm into planners, which is not necessarily a craft, but um, it's a little bit of a creative niche. Niche is that the word as well? <laughs> so yeah, I I like to dab one a lot, but jewelry has my heart. That's where mm. my main focus is. And what drew you to jewelry? Like, what inspired you? Well. Um, I've had chronic illness now for about almost probably 12 to 15 years. I've lost track. It's been so long. Um, and I spent a lot of time um, sitting, laying, sleeping, still do, but it's a lot, it's a, some better now. Um, my friend Gloria, who's been my best friend since, I'll bet you it's been 26 or 27 years. Yeah. We've been best friends. Uh, she um, is a jewelry maker as well. And she taught, she came to visit one time and she said, you know, I have something. I think you would really enjoy doing this. You know, it might give you something to do. You can just do with your hands if you need to just sit, you know. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not going to really, uh, you know care too much about this so she said gave me the the use of her stash that she had there and she said you know make a piece I'll guide you through it and I said okay so I think I have my first piece back here yes I do <laughs> this is the first piece I ever made just a simple oh it's beautiful and it was so funny because when I made it, I finished it and I looked at her and I said, does this look okay? And she looked at me and she, she might have uh, called me a name <laughs> and she said, oh my gosh, no. it's your first piece. That's great. So she was quite impressed with my first piece. Yeah, so it's beautiful. 
we went I to went for first piece. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I had her to guide me too. So that helped, but um yeah, it was it was so so fun. So fun. And from then on, I was like one of those people that said I only want to use I was only using like Chinese crystals and if it was blingy, I wanted it which is still like that to an extent, but I like higher quality blingy, like Swarovski's <laughs> mm-hmm. and things like that. So hopefully that answers your question in a roundabout way. Oh yeah, no, that was perfect. <laughs> um, is there a story behind your shop name? Well, I've, I've owned Sandra Poodles since I was, let me think, about 18 or 19. Um, I was actually, when I graduated high school, I, I went to grooming school and became a pet, gr- pet groomer. The woman that was teaching the cl- the school, she bred standard poodles. And the moment, the moment <laughs> I saw one of these dogs, these puppies and these dogs, I'm like this, where have you been my whole life? she actually when I graduated gave me a gift of one of those standard poodle puppies wow I know I was so excited I was so excited so from that point on it was standard poodles Uh, we've had uh, multiple standard poodles over the years Um, we had a mother and two daughters Siobhan Camille and Cadence for a long time and they passed and then we got Kaylee um and now we have miss arwen who is a horse of another color um so that comes there comes the poodle aspect of it and pink is my favorite color so (laughs) that's pretty yeah (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. when did you start selling online you know i think i started dabbling in online sales maybe about 2011 okay something around there 2012 Um, eventually I was very afraid to start a business, quote unquote. So it took me quite a few years just to get up the gumption to open an Etsy store. But now that I did, I wonder what took me so long. So, but I think many, I guess to that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, probably around there. And what drew you to sell online? Anything particular? Well, with the chronic illness, um, craft shows vending shows those are very difficult for me um as much my husband has helped me in the past but he's very busy you know he works full time he has a you know a few hobbies things like that and I don't want to make him commit to spending his weekend doing that so if I can't do it myself you know I don't want to do it because it's just too hard I get exhausted. So the online sales is the best of both worlds. I mean, I get to sell, I can post at my convenience. I can put my, you know, listings up at my convenience. You know that, so. That's great, yeah. Um, where do you sell online? You've mentioned Etsy, anywhere else? Yes, I do have an Etsy store and I use Facebook um, to sell. I do have a shop there, I just haven't, I don't have it completely set up yet. I'm in the works of that. Um, a lot of my ride or die customers are on Facebook. Okay. Um, that they, they're ones that have been with me from the beginning and, you know, they liked, so I like to make sure that I cater to them as well, you know, to give them the opportunities to either go to the Etsy shop and purchase or purchase directly from me. And you just started in on Instagram as well, right? Yeah, I have been, I've, just really started honing in on Instagram. I've been on Instagram for a while, but with your help, uh, I, I have been doing some better, I believe. So, and, uh, you know, I have other outlets for my work as well. Like I, I'll have a YouTube channel and um, TikTok and things like that, that I you dabble in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> definitely Um, dabble (laughs) (laughs) do you sell anywhere else any other physical locations or anything I don't I don't and I have looked into it in the past um shut this fan off um I have looked into it in the past 
but for the cost and for the amount of space that I was given, it just didn't kind of even out for me. So until I find the right space, I'm kind of still just the um, online. Do you have any sales or giveaways you want to share with everybody? Right now, I'm not doing anything. Um, we are actually, I've been not concentrating as much on my business as I have been in the past lately because we have, you know, some things going on with our family, with my husband's family. So I'm kind of, if you want to call it laying low right at the moment, but I'm sure once things sort of settle down there, I will be, you know, doing my sales, doing my giveaways, things like that again. Great. Great. <clears throat> um, what hopes do you have for the future? I mean, just like any jewelry store owner or, you know, um, Etsy store owner, um, I hope that that can become more of a steady income for me. Mm -hmm. um, I work with Jesse James Beads and I would like to see myself doing some more work with them. Um, just to have a greater online presence, right. things like that, so yeah um what um uh, why don't we take this time now why don't you share a couple pieces with us okay sure sure um i don't know we'll start with a few bracelets this is actually a i'll hold it up like this so you can see it oh. this is actually a check glass fire polish uh wrapped bracelet with leather and then a rhinestone clasp on that. That is beautiful. <laughs> I love me some fire polish. <laughs> <laughs> and then this bracelet I made last night. This is a oh. uh, hammered copper with check glass beautiful. on it, wired on. Love that combo. <laughs> I I really do. I enjoy I enjoy the metal and wire work, mm -hmm. as you know I do. Um, this is one of my sorry silk bracelets that I made. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, it's yeah. Of course. <laughs> yes. But I did make a couple other colors as well. So yeah. there's that one. And then I do like signature pieces. Now, these pieces are things that I use fibers and lace and just anything that's textile mm -hmm. along with my beads. So this was actually the first one that I made. So it's like a that. media for your neck. <laughs> exactly I guess I could have some better lighting here huh that's okay this is my first time doing this too oh that's beautiful. yeah I could have set up my shop or my YouTube light <laughs> oh yeah I could have done that too <laughs> Go <figure. laughs> but that that's my first one I made there and this is like I said with just lots of textiles and beads uh buttons just a variety of Wow. Things. This is, you know, with the flowers on it, things I like that. Totally see that on somebody on a runway. Like, you know, yeah. like a, one of those flowy, like silk pink dresses or something. Yes. Like that. Well, that thank you. That's quite a compliment. <laughs> it totally, like, that's what came to my mind when I saw that. That is. Oh, well, thank you. And then this is actually the, the last signature piece that I, I made. If you can see it. Oh, love it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, and then that's the back. That's the so chains. Fun. I, you added some fling to the back. Look at you go, girl. Yeah, you got to have the back look almost as good as the front. <laughs> yeah, adorable with like a little black dress. Like, oh, yeah. Just real, like, let to allow that piece to just mm -hmm. speak. Yeah. 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 I really enjoyed working with that, with the, um, with the material and the fibers and stuff like that. I crocheted, well, as you can see, the neck band on that is, that's actually a piece of lace that I ran, I ran Sorry Silk through the middle and then put onto a uh, memory wire. Oh, that's really cool. And the second be the second necklace is beaded with, I patina painted the butterfly and then the third and fourth necklaces are crocheted. Oh, neat. Shape wow. beating. So, yeah. And you also, those are beautiful. Are there any other pieces you wanted to share? 
You know what? I have one more I want to show you here. This is this one's probably my favorite all time that I've made signature piece wise. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. And I, I even went as far as making that flower right. out of material. That is, that. that is beautiful. And it has, you know, the feather here and the yeah. tooling. And then it actually ties with tooling in the back and a bow. Oh, you know, yeah. that would be, I would, I would wear that with like a black uh, jump jumper. Mm -hmm. And actually you would need, um, what do you call it? Uh, a pillbox hat yeah with the same flower on it oh, girl and you look good too that would be <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fun like yeah yeah down the road that's the thing they get me excited they get me excited making those kind of pieces i i love making it any jewelry but these get me excited because i can just let go and create yeah. you know they're gorgeous they're thank you absolutely gorgeous Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not sure what I should have watched the time, <laughs> you know, because YouTube has that limit on there. Might have to yeah. pop up our um, <clears throat> our uh, interview here. But um, is there anything else you'd like to share with uh, our viewers? I don't think so. I mean, you know, look me up online. Um, Amber will be sharing the links, I believe. So um, check me out if oh, you're interested. Yeah, and also you're a um, an ambassador for Jesse James Beads, and you have mm -hmm. a link with them. So I'll try and share. I'll need those from you to share that. Okay, sure. Yep, I can and certainly give you that. Other affiliate links that you have um, also. Okay, yeah, I'll send them your way. I actually have um, Panda Hall, BB Craft, and Bead Hall Link as well. Ooh. Okay, so. very fun. <laughs> my main my main focus is Jesse James Beads, but I do use other products. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very fun. Well, um, so great getting to know you better today, Trisha. And thank you viewers for taking the time to watch this whole interview. Um, this is, I'm Amber from Mountain Inty Creations and Handcrafted Artisan. And this is Trisha from Pink, Pu Pink Poodle Studio. <laughs> I can't even say, say that three times fast. <laughs> but I'm so glad you joined us for our first vlog today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Look forward to seeing more of your creations here in the future. Thank you so much. Bye.